My name is Uche Chukwu Nanobi, and I represent other work in Obama in the United States. Okay, uh, there was a motion to the absolute of the House by the Honorable Kutlok of Pia, seeking the House to take a resolution urging uh, multinationals operating uh, in the riverine areas, uh, precisely Niger Delta areas, to uh, domicile operational and administrative offices in those communities where they operate. And I know you're one of those persons that they uh, spoke for. And of course, uh, I'll, 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 I wouldn't expect anything less coming from that as is. Also, there were some of your colleagues, like the leader of the house. Well, if you said the motion was still in that totally wrong, but the important things were said. There was an issue that bothered on whether or not the multinational to move back the operational offices to the Manchester region where they operate. Um, and for us, it was simple. I was of the opinion, or I rather supported the motion based on, on the areas that felt were important to my constituents, and as a Nigerian, because the right thing has to be done. All we were asking for was for them to move back, because it will boost economic activity, it will create employment. And then, apart from that, the other infrastructural uh, decay we complain about, but you don't have the people who are going from sea to poor. You have too many problems in the United Delta, and this will only serve as a means of I mean, raising the people suffering through ensuring that these basic things are put in place. If, for instance, if, if, if for instance, rather, the tax, the huge money that would have accrued to the state, you know, they've gone a long way in providing all of these things that we're talking about. We're not saying that would solve the entire problem. A few arguments were advanced, but to me, a lot of them are not terrible. Some were just born out of the need to ensure that those who are making huge sums of money from this, this all multinational continue to do that. So, yeah, the motion may have failed, but I know that Nigerians know that what we stood for was in the best interest of the people of the Niger Delta. And if I give you an instance, if for instance, I don't know what state you're off from. Now, if you have some resource from Benway and your headquarters is sited in maybe a low bridge, then how would you feel? So it's just saying that they should be very close to the raw material. I know the Nigeria that I have experienced relative to in the region where you actually come from, the Niger Delta. Do you think the federal government in return has lived up to its expectations? So I'll take it from the Oliver, Oliver Twist point of view. I was wanting to know, but that's not even the point. The key is, he has gone around, he's seen things and so on, and uh, he's been able to build trust. I think uh, so far, well, we're still banking on the promises made and we hope they will, in due cost, materialize into tangible things and the tangibility should be such that even those at home will know that, yes, yeah, this government is going to actually put them first. But for now, you know, I just got back from, um, I, I got back just two years ago from my constituency. Well, we have you had any federal government presence, but we're hoping for the best, especially given the, the quantum of what we produce and what we give to this nation, I think we should be treated better. And we hope that all the promises will, in due course or in the shortest possible time, begin to materialize so that we will truly, truly believe that the federal government actually is doing something to ensure that the Niger Delta is taken care of. Thank you very much.